mathematical literacy taxation so i'll be answering this question under taxation we have the tax table here of 2021-2022 we have the tax rebate uh, the primary one is aged between 0 to 65 secondary one 65 to 74 the tertiary 75 and older not to forget that a person who falls under the rebate of a person who is 75 years old qualify the relief of tertiary rebate because already the person is at tertiary also qualify the secondary and the primary rebate then a person who falls under secondary which is at the age of 65 and 74 this person qualify the relief of 8613 and 15000 714 then a person who is 65 years younger qualify for a primary rebate only the relief for this person is only gonna be 15,714 let me re-explain this again a person who is 75 years old and older qualify for tertiary secondary and primary a person who is between 65 and 74 qualify for secondary and primary a person who is 65 years and younger qualifies only for primary rebates then we also have the tax threshold to say that a person who is younger than 65 years old who earn an annual income of 87,300 or less does not qualify to pay tax. A person between 65 years old and 74 years old who pay who earn an annual salary of 135,150 does not qualify to pay tax if you earn less than this amount. The last one or the last group, a person who is 75 years and older who earn an annual salary of 151,100 rands or less also does not qualify to pay tax then we have the medical credit here monthly medical credit a main member contributor 10 first dependent whether it's a wife or is a child as long as it's a first dependent that person is also going to be contributed uh, 310. Then the second dependent is 209. The third dependent is also 209. And then typical questions. We have this person, Mr. Mudisen. He is 35 years old. Don't forget, 35 years old, we are going to get our what? Our rebate from this age. Rebate are determined by the age. Because he's 35 years old, you only qualify for what? For the primary rebates of 15,714. He earned a monthly taxable income. He earned a monthly taxable income of 35,357. During 2021-2022 tax year. During this time, Mr. Mudise was a member of a medical fund. For himself, his wife, and two children. Use the tax table for the 2021-2022 tax year and the information above to help you to answer the following question. Question number one. 1.1. 1 .1. It says that, question number one, determine Mr. Mudise's annually taxable income so this one is very simple we're just going to write it the way it is to say that the annual taxable income is going to be what monthly 
taxable income multiplied by 12. So if you look at the question, they've already given us what? A monthly taxable income. We just take that monthly taxable income, we multiply it by 12. We're going to find our yearly taxable income. So our monthly taxable income, it's as follow. 35,357. We multiply that by 12 to find a yearly taxable income. That's what the question has asked us to do. So what you need to do now, you just save 35, 357, multiply by 12. You find that the annual taxable income of this person is 424,284. 424,284 rents. Number two, 1.2. 1.2, the question says that show with calculation that Mr. Mudise, Mr. Mudise will receive 13,344 medical tax credit for the year 2021-2022. So we go back to the statement and check how many people the first thing is to check, is he a member of a medical aid? Yes, he is a member of a medical aid. The second step is to check, how many people is he contributing for in that medical scheme? You find that it is himself, his wife, and two children. So we're going to say that the medical credit, annual medical credit, annual medical credit is going to be himself how much for himself is 310 how much for his wife is 310 how much for his second dependent is 209 how much for the third dependent is also 209. So the answer that we're going to get here, we're going to say 310 plus 310 plus 209 plus 209. We find that monthly he contributes 1038, which is 1038 monthly. Then we multiply this by 12 because we are looking for what? Annually medical credit. You just multiply this by 12 to say multiply by 12. Your answer is 12,456. The answer is 12,456 rands. He contributed this amount for medical aid in a year. 1.3. 1.3. Calculate the amount of tax Mr. Mudise must pay for 2021-2022 year. So we just have to say tax is equal to, we go back to question 1.1. Question 1.1, our annually taxable income was 400 and, 424, or a 4 yeah, 424,284 rands. So this amount, we go and check that amount on this text table. Text table number one. Accommodate one rand to 216,200 rands. Text bracket number two. Between 216 to 337. Text bracket number three. Is 337 up to 467 and then we say that his taxable income is 424 284 
So we can tell that 424,284 it found in text brackets number three. So because it's found in text bracket number three, we copy down this text bracket number three. The way it is to have, we're going to copy 70,532 plus 31% of taxable income above 387,800. That's the first step. We're going to say 70,532 plus 81 percent of what taxable income above three three seven eight zero zero after copying down the equation you begin to use the equation now you are going to say it's equal to seven two thousand five hundred and thirty two plus 81 percent you open the brackets when you open the brackets you write this annually taxable income that you have calculated in 1.1 1 .1, which is four two four two eight four minus what we subtract we subtract the amount that we have in tax brackets number three at the end of the statement which is three, three, seven, eight, zero. So now having that brackets, we have to do the calculations. When you calculate here, you begin from inside the brackets first. That's the first step. You don't touch anything before dealing with the brackets. Let's deal with what is inside the brackets. You leave 70,000 the way it is, 70,000. 532 plus 31 over 100. Then we change 31 percent to become 31 over 100. Then we change the, bra the brackets to become multiplication. Then inside the brackets, we have 424,284 minus 337,780. Oh, my mistake. Uh, this one zero here. I have to add another zero. Which is 337,800. When you do that, uh, you find that your answer is 86,000. 86,484. Then from here, you leave 70,000 the way it is, 70,532 plus, then the answer that you have, this one of 86,484, you multiply it by what? 31 over, 31 over 100. And then you find that now your answer is 26, 26,810, 04. Then the next step is to add what we have then. You just say plus 70,532. Then the answer here becomes 97,342, four cent. When you reach this stage, this is the amount of money that Mr. Mudisa is supposed to be paying toward uh, SARS. But because of the rebate, they're going to relieve him with what? With the rebate. Minus rebate and minus medical credit. Don't forget, we have calculated the medical credit. We have also calculated the rebate. Or we know the rebate because of his age. So we continue to say that 9,734, uh, 
97,342.04% minus rebates. Let's look at the age of the person. How old is he? He is 35 years old. Because he's 35 years old, you only qualify for one rebate with the primary one, which is 15,714. We say minus 15,714. Minus the medical credit, annual medical credit of how much? Of 12,456. Then from there, you use a calculator to say 97,342 97, and 4 cent minus 15,714 minus 12,456. Then your answer is 69,000, 69,172 and 4 cent. So because of the rebate, it is now going to pay 69,172 and 4 cent. So you can tell or you can, you can tell from this calculation that the rebate and the medical credit it reduces the number of it reduces the amount that a person is supposed to be paying uh, toward the medical towards SARS, I mean, to, uh, toward uh, tax so rebate help people to pay less questions comments are welcome in the comment section if there's any part which I did not explain it to the best level, please uh, comment with that question. I'll try to make another video to respond to that. Likes are welcome. Make sure that you share. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. When it's grow, it assists me to help you. Thank you very much.